And we're back right where we started. Hey, Zora. So we saved here, obviously. And now it's actually... Well... We're getting pretty close to the end, I can say. I don't know, it, this game, like, since this is probably gonna be the last stream of Unica's run, but there's still Hugo's run to do and a certain third character. Um... I, I hope... This game was a fun time and fun experience for, uh... For all of those in here, especially you, Zora, since... You know, I plan to do this game anyway, but it's really been... A lot more fun doing it because you enjoy it so much, so... I'm glad that's the case. Oh, hey! Panda, where have you been? I thought you couldn't stand this music. <clears throat> Lops back from the drop- How did that go? I am dying to know how that- how that went. Did you break it? Did it work after you destroyed it? Alright, that exits the... Hmm. You've been planning role-playing characters. That's That sounds neato. Okay, so how do you go through this? This is like a maze thing that I completely forgot, more or less. Ow. Jeez, wow, this is a... Mm. Okay, so the annoying thing about these little bulbs, right, are that they're invisible. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is... Hmm. Destroy it! Are you guys insane? You should, like, you should not get anything. And no, I'm not gonna do Dark Souls 3 after this. You guys are retards. Like, both of you, you are retards. Spoiled retards, might I add. Like, you could have given it to a friend that really would have appreciated it. Someone that doesn't have a fancy phone, but you decide to destroy it. Like, that's really... I- you just had no objections. Well, like I said, you're both retards. They took a perfectly good iPhone, what was it, a higher model, a fucking iPhone, and they destroyed it. For no reason, literally for no reason. Like, coming from someone that really appreciates, let's, like, let's say, appreciates the value of a dollar. That's, like, that's really shitty what you guys did, and I really dislike, dislike it a lot. Why are these guys so powerful? Oh, one's dead. And he's giving me a fair amount of levels. Okay, so just smack them. Smack them is the solution. Maybe do the wind? I haven't done the wind in a long time. Ouch. You little fucking gnome.
the- oh, what the fuck was that explosion? I really just want to level. Well. So, it takes me a while to figure out how to kill mobs, I guess, and these guys are really just fucking annoying. Um... It's not that bad technically, you know, it's just a waste of all things. All your friends have better... I have a Galaxy S3 right now, and it's like amazing for me! No. I'll still stick to the notion that you guys are retards, and that's just like... That's pretty much obvious, I'd say. So we'll just leave it at that. That's fair enough, like, you could just give, like, give that somewhere, throw it in the trash, if it just doesn't, plain, plain doesn't work, you know? Okay, so you sort these little balls out by... So the blue ones spawn red ones, and the red ones spawn blue ones. Uh, these all these little guys also I guess have a really weird circular these guys have two types of attacks from what I've seen they have the circular one no 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 okay so the red ones have an AoE type attack where they fire bullets in all directions while the blue ones have like sniper style shots so I really don't know which one's more dangerous uh, from the damage they're doing I don't wouldn't really care about the damage I'd still want to clear the blue ones first since that shot can it's super fast, and the red one actually can be easily avoided. This little imp will usually heal uh, his teammates. I'm just, no, I don't want this at all. Yeah, I know I'm a retard, that's good. You deserve to be in a fanfic. THREW THREE PHONES IN A RIVER! That's fucking... Uh, pollution! That is pollution, that is worse than just fucking throwing it away. Okay, let's get rid of the sniper blue- OH WHAT THE FUCK! 24 already! How quickly do you die here? Ah, oh, fuck- mm. So, for some reason, every time you start in a new zone, you're insanely under-leveled for that zone. To the point of dying within the first few seconds of exposure to the bullets and other hazards that the enemies have to offer. So, somehow, you're supposed to survive until a level up heals you up fully and you're actually able to survive against a, a couple of attacks. I mean, I guess that's how the whole game works, but at least giving you some type of leverage, some advantage or, or just weaker enemies in the zone, or less of them, would be good. But here, every single room is littered with enemies, like th six or seven or so. Those mages never give you a break with the giant explosion bullets, and the blue snipers never give you a break either. You can't even move, they hit you even if you move. And the red ones just splatter the screen with bullets, nowhere you can go either. God. I have a spare HTC one which I'm not gonna destroy. What phones do you people have right now? Well, like I said, I have a Samsung Galaxy S3 for like the past few years and it's been doing well for me. Kill blue one first. Kill sniper buddy. See, the thing is, with the danger of these, I can never really gauge them, because while blues are more dangerous, and that is correct, uh, on the other hand, they all- the reds also spawn more blues, so in the end, they could end up being more dangerous. Oh, I've just noticed that the blues only shoot 
um, horizontally. So as long as we keep to being in the air, that's gonna be good. Galaxy A3. Wow. Being extremely salty and ranting, that's... yeah. Um, actually, well, I'm trying... I'm gonna try and, like, fill the... Uh, dead air with analysis of what's going on, or what I know about the game. For example, like, uh, when you're... When you really never want to keep your eye off the health bar... Like, not for a second, ever. Chances are, you're already dead by that point. So, yeah, we're just gonna wait here for a second with the... With the cloak or whatever that heals you. Hold on, what were you guys saying? After a few years of getting money? Yeah, saving up's really cool. Sony Xperia Z, I don't know how good that phone is. I have an iPhone 4 and HTC One. don't know what those are. Personally, I have a One Plus One. I don't know any of these models. Sony Xperia. Uh, the interesting thing about this cloak, right, is that it was available since East to what? Did I just get a follower? Oh, Falco, thanks for uh, following. So the interesting thing about this cloak, right, is I think a healing item, or an item that lets you regain health as you're standing still and being undamaged, uh, has been available since East 2. I believe East 1 is the only game that didn't have a healing item available on you. Or did it? No, 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 it had a ring. It had a ring. So every single East game, at one point, y you get an item that heals you while you're stationary, which is really, really cool. And... Oh god, this is gonna be annoying. The interesting thing is that usually uh, the thing that heals you is that cloak. And in East 1, it wasn't actually that cloak or cape of, or cloak of healing or whatever. It was a ring. And in East 2, East, uh, East Origins, I think even... What about East Oath and Felgana? What healed you there? That was a unique healing item. I, whoa, no, the deal was here. See, that's what I'm talking about. The red spawned three blues. Another blue spawned a red, so these guys can really quickly multiply and get back to their original members if you don't take care of them real quickly. I just hope they don't spawn them at full health. They, like, spawn them at gimped health. If they spawn them at full health, that's, that would be a really annoying thing. Did they spawn another one again? Okay, now we're safe. What I'm gonna do and try and do is I'm gonna try and methodically clear out... Well, isn't he, like, aren't you gonna unfollow with your shit account? Or are you, are you just gonna leave that? So yeah, we have the healing item. Which is pretty great. Um, the interesting thing about East 1 is that you also, and East 2, I think, you healed by being in fresh air, more or less. So, here that's not a feature, even when we're outside on the Tower of Darm, we still don't get healed. Are you kidding me? Are you gonna kill me after all of this? Nope. No! Whoa, 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 no, no, don't kill me, come on! I'm just gonna stay here and everyone's gonna be fine, right? Okay, we're good. Another interesting thing that I'm using right now is the charge magic. As you can see, uh, Unica has a small circle around her, and a blue aura constantly glowing on and off. That's from the magic that we're charging right now. Traditionally, um, 
Traditionally, like, the first two East games, as you know, were used... Uh, the bump system was used for combat, which is a system where you bump into enemies. If you bump on them head-on, uh, you and the enemy both get damaged. If you bump them on the shoulders, or diagonally, under an angle, as long as you don't bump them head-on, you only deal damage, you don't get damage back. So... That was, well, an interesting system for those games. It wasn't based on an attack button because you didn't really have an attack button. M while mean uh, meanwhile, later East games went on to use the attack. Are you kidding me? I had one enemy left to leveling. And the healing magic that was supposed to heal me actually did 150 damage. Which Dark Souls is the best? I'd say mechanically, <clears throat> mechanically it's gotta be Dark Souls 3. Um, my favorite... I'd, I can't decide between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 right now. One would definitely be for the no nostalgic factor, and, you know, the first Souls game that I've ever played. How many East games? A fuck ton. You have East 1 and 2, East 3, and the East 3 remake, which I'm gonna play, Oath and Felgana. Then you have East 4, I forgot the name of, and the East 4 remake, um, East Memories of Celseta. Then you have the East 5 something something Sun. I, and I don't think there's a remake for that one. I can't play Memories of Cell Seta because it's only on the PS Vita, but hopefully it'll be ported to PC one day. Then you have East 5. You have East 6 Ark of Napishtim, which was the first East game to um, use this, like, going around 3D worlds and hitting stuff mechanic. And it didn't even have magic to charge, but we'll get, that, get on that later, a bit later. Um... So, E6 was, was the first one to use that system, right? But the thing is, um, the remakes uh, use improved versions of that system. So, this is a... this isn't really a remake. You have East Origin, which is basically what happened before East, um, East 1 and 2. And it's specific because you don't actually play as Adol Kristen which is the main protagonist in all, I think, every other East game. <sighs> Adol Kristen, which is the main protagonist of every East game, in East 1 and 2, as you saw, we played as Adol Kristen, so, the um, Chronicles version is actually the remake of East 1 and 2. The original East 1 and 2 were for the Commodore 64, made in 1985. Uh, you... It was extremely lacking in graphics, but the levels, the story, the melodies of the music were all still there. Which video card and processor do I have? I have... I'm using my brother's PC, which I mostly use for streaming now. Hopefully I'll be able to build my PC soon. But he uses an R7 260X card, as far as I'm aware of. Um, processor? I'm pretty sure it's an AMD one. I forget the name of it. But for... If I'm, you know, building a new PC, I'd want to get an i5 Skylake along with an R9 AMD one, AMD card, but that's not going to be there for a long time. So, you know, I can't really... I can run Dark Souls 3, for example. I can stream it, and I actually thought about streaming it today. But why don't we get back to some fun East facts, since, you know, since, um... Panda did give me a very nice tip, which is to just not have dead air and find something to talk about. I find um, talking about the history of East to be a somewhat interesting topic. 
Um, and also, I might want to talk about how, um, what a piece of shit this little gnome is that's attacking me. That just, uh, healed this guy for, like, 450 health, and at the same time dealt a fuck ton of damage to me. Alright, let's heal. So what else do we have? We have, uh... So East 1 and 2, yeah? Then you have East 3, which was like a 2D side-scroller, so it wasn't even the East formula where you explore like you saw in East 1 and 2. Um... In East 3, the remake, Oath and Felgana, that actually is much closer, and I find would be the closest to East Origin, the game we're currently playing. It also has three types of magic, wind, um, electric... Well, thanks, Slop. It has wind, uh, wind, fire, and it doesn't have electric, it has terra, which is like ground. Um, but it's also yellow, so in the same vein, um... I'm gonna fucking... just cry. I'm gonna kill this gnome right here, he's the biggest piece of shit I've ever laid my eyes on. How do you even deal with this situation? Jesus Christ! STOP! 14 health, of course. It's dumb! Like, how do they not... Get Claria first? Is Claria here? Fair point, then. I'm gonna do that. So, Oath and Felgana mechanically will look... And mechanically it feels like this game, exactly like this game. Uh, East Origin actually was made basically with the same engine and more or less same code uh, as Oath and Felgana was, the remake. So those are gonna be very similar games, only we'll be playing with Adol. And of course, like for the three characters in this game, his magic, his three magic things will be unique. In East 4 Memories of Celset, I really have been trying to avoid seeing that game because I want to play it at some point, but it's a pretty new way of playing with East... of doing East games. East 5 is probably going to get a remake at some point. East 6 actually only recently got a PC port to Steam, thanks to the wonderful publishers at Exceed. Uh, and I have that game, and that's the only game that I haven't beaten the hardest difficulty on. Well, not on the Steam version. I have actually done it on the, um... On the PlayStation 2 version. Sadly, with the uh, Ark of Nepishtim, they do not have Alma's Trials, which were a unique part of the game that we'll, we won't see when I play East Ark of Nepishtim. They were present in the PlayStation 2 version, not in the PC version, though. And then you have E7, which I really know little about that game. But it's a similar hit style... ...to, uh... ...the other East games. And by hit style, I mean you just kinda hit things. Uh, then you have the latest one, interestingly enough, and this game is just coming out, I think, or literally just came out, again, for only for the PS Vita, called uh, Lacrimosa, uh, East 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. And again, I'd love to get my hands on those games, but since I don't have a PS Vita, I can't even play them, let alone stream them, so we sadly won't be playing those games until they get a PC port. The next game in line will be pull. Fuck me. I'm literally just going through the zone and I get fucked up. That's the Clarior. Wait, is this the end of the. Oh. Neat. This is the last upgrade.
It's exhausting talking and thinking about this the, like, the whole time. But I don't know if you guys... Wow, thanks. I'm betting you guys just like seeing, like, hearing that sound and seeing that little animation. That's why you guys are hosting me. So, yeah, the Lacrimosa of Dana game, we will not be getting to that. The East games we will do, and the ones I've done are East 1. East 1, East 2, and I will not be getting back to those games. I'm currently in the middle of doing East Origin because... East Origin is basically the prequel to East 1 and 2, and you'll get a lot of the neat little lore stuff of the East Universe if you've uh, paid attention during East 1 and East 2. If not, then you won't really understand much, but it's easy to get into East Origin without knowing anything about the East series or the East world. Uh, in East Origin, since there are three playable characters, and each one have their own unique dialogue, and a lot of them have their own unique like, uh, the, a lot of the bosses are also unique to the character you're playing. So... And it's a completely different playstyle playing with that character. So that's why we'll be doing all three characters in the Nightmare Run. And then, after that, doing, uh, the Time Attack mode, or Boss Rush mode, with all three characters, or all four, actually, characters. What do you mean, try East out for yourself? Are you planning to f buy it? Uh, on Steam, like, I will be streaming um, on Steam all of the East games available on Steam, which are East 1, East 2, East South and Felgana, or East 3, East Origin, the prequel to 1 and 2, and uh, East Arc of Nepishtim, or East 6. Those are currently the ones available on, on Steam. If you've ever wondered what these little crystals are that uh, these guys drop, like every enemy almost, um, in other difficulties these crystals are actually very useful. Uh, if you can look under the mana bar, which is under the health bar on the bottom left, you will see the amount of SP points I have. So called SP points. These SP points allow me to go to statues or shrines and buy upgrades for the character. These upgrades can be um, upgrading your armor's defense, uh, upgrading a lot of stats of the character like the mana regen, the, imp the mana consumption of skills, the boost regen, the um, speed of the character, the I guess how much you're affected by um, status effects and so on and so forth. The easier the difficulty is, the more uh, SP points the little drops are worth. So at the lowest difficulty, that, which is very easy, there are five difficulties by the way in this game, very easy, easy, normal, hard, and uh, nightmare. I'm playing at nightmare of course since it is the hardest difficulty. Uh, on very easy, the points are worth astronomical values, and the bigger the gem is, obviously, the more points it's worth. And the upgrades, when you buy them, do a lot for you. On the other hand, on the other side of the spectrum in the extreme, on nightmare mode, every single gem that they drop is worth one wow. SP point. From the lowest little... little spec of a gem to the big diamond shaped gems, they are all worth one SP point. And even if you somehow get enough SP points for upgrades, 
They aren't worth almost everything. Anything. They are severely mitigated. In the uh, higher difficulty. So, more or less, the moral is you might as well... even You shouldn't feel bad about not being able to buy the upgrades because they're not worth anything anyway. Okay. Another interesting thing about the... 3D entries in these series, the one where you hit stuff, is in all of these Steam versions, using the same engine, of course, which are uh, Ark of Nepishtim, Oath and Felgana, and East Origin, the world is made out of 3D models, as you can see. So the world is made out of 3D models. But what you might not notice is that the enemies, the mobs mostly, and the player characters are actually sprites. Sprites are, of course, um, 2D pictures, basically, uh, which have a lot of different, like, forms. And they're used, you know, to animate, basically, the sprite, to make it look like it's moving. So if you look closely at Unica, she's not actually a, um... Not actually a 3D model. This, again, is uh, different for fucking Jesus. This, again, is different for bosses, which are full-fledged 3D models. I think I'm just gonna get back to the this. And try to beat the boss. Somehow. The boss shouldn't be that hard. I'm not gonna be my rambly self with the boss, I think, because it requires a bit more focus than the mobs, let's be honest, right? Oh, Christ. Zubatoy. You know that I'm just gonna transfer the points you have right now, Lop, so if you're wasting um, points with the with your original Lop account, you are uh, losing them on your other account. I hope you are aware of that. Huh? Asks Unica. No, I'm trapped. You don't say! You dumb shit! Jesus Christ! Oh, if the enemy attacked now, it wouldn't stand the chance. That's the point of a trap! That is literally the point of a trap, Unica! Ah, oh, jeez. Royston? Quite the predicament you've got yourself into. It's just a simple magic cage, though, don't worry. It looks flashy, but it's not very strong. Should be easy enough to dispel. Oh, okay, if you wouldn't mind, then. No problem, we'll call it even. After all, you saved me when I was turned to stone, so it's the least I can do, right? She is so dumb. She is Captain Obvious, Captain Moron, Captain every single bad thing about someone's mental state. Come on, this isn't anywhere near as bad. Huh, alright, let's just get you out of here. Tisk tisk, what a naughty little boy you are, touching things that don't belong to you. Hey. Damn, you're that sorceress who kidnapped Lady Fina. I went to a lot of trouble to lure this girl into my snare. She's my trophy. And anyone who tries to steal my trophy will be punished. Fua bam Roy Impressive. Most men would have abandoned the little chick to flee for their lives. She must mean a great deal to you. Huh. I wonder which will shatter first. The magic cage or the humble boy who seeks to break it. I look forward to finding out. Ooh, aren't you evil? I You're a monster! 
Stop this, Roy. You have to run. You heard her. If you wish to scuttle away with your tail between your legs, you're free to do so. Think about it. Is a girl so incompetent with magic worth sacrificing your very life? She is! She can't use magic, but she's damn strong. You know that as well as I do. Or else you wouldn't have to set up a trap like this. Oh! That was a fucking call out. Heh. <laughs> she beat you once, so this is your last hope, isn't it? You're afraid of her. S silence Man, you made her mad. I don't think that was a good idea, Royston. Like, you should have assessed the situation better. I've heard quite enough out of you. You have one last chance. Leave now, the next strike will be fatal. Please, no. Go, Unica. Don't you dare lose to the likes of her. Damn, that blood, dude. That's serious business right there. My, 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 what a mess. If only I had Viscera clean up detail. Just look what you made me do. You shut your damn mouth! You're nothing but a coward. A miserable, pathetic coward. Mind your tongue, little bitch! Oh, dude. This game's getting the R rating. I've not forgotten the shame I endured when Lord Dallas ordered me to retreat from Rado's Annex. And I'll make sure you don't forget it either. Oh. Very manly scream. Thanks, I try. Oh, throwback to E Swan! Fun fact all the bosses here were actually stronger versions of E Swan bosses. Technically, in E Swan bosses, those are very weak versions because they're not at their full strength. Like they were in East Origin. So Adol only to handled the weaker versions of the bosses. If you remember them, those were the two heads nearing the end of East 1. And even there, those were Zava's familiars. We fought Zava in East 2. So now we're gonna see the full extent of these bosses. Also, um, you already used the coward line, Unica. Alright, well, I better just kill myself right here and now, so... Because I wasted way too much uh, health on that. So... If I remember correctly... Uh... In Very Easy, she would stay on the ground a lot longer than on Nightmare. So the secret to beating her is literally doing this until she's dead. That's it. It's a grueling fight and you need to avoid them because they... Yoglex and Amulgan become very fun. In the second part of the battle. generally want to circle around them and stay away from them in this fight. Uh, you want to keep an eye on them um, all, at all times, and just kind of... Zava isn't that much of a threat, she'll only do attacks that you can simply dodge by moving. Uh, the careful... the things you need to note about Yoglex and Amulgan are that they can do specific, like, special supercharge attacks, specifically the red one, Yoglex. He can do this laser attack that does quite a hefty amount of damage. The other one, when teamed up like this... Uh, Yoglex has the... 
ability of drawing you towards them. While Amalgan has the ability of uh, eating you. I think both, no, the, do both of them have the ability of eating you? Yeah, okay, so both of them have the ability of eating you. Haven't still worked that out yet, so still learning the boss. Uh, but what um, Yoglex will do is he'll try to draw you towards a Mulgan, or just in general halt your movement. You always want to be jumpy in this fight because of the laser attack that can be done. Oh. That is extremely dangerous. Okay, now I think I will want to equip the no slide boots. That will be very useful for this fight. I might actually quit just to do that. I don't even know if that works, to be honest with you. The, you know, the boots, the accessory, the, oh, that's a bomb. Oh, so he can use the laser too. I wonder if the, if, um, Amalgan can draw you towards him. So Amalgan, when he's not the one Zava is in currently, instead of drawing... Instead of drawing you to, um... To him, he will throw bombs. So Yoglex, the icy one, will try to draw you towards him, while Amalgan will throw bombs. You generally want to keep strafing to the side of the one that has Zava in him. Because that's the one that can shoot the very deadly laser. And as long as you're strafing, you won't really have a problem with the laser. It's not very fast in turning. So that's not much of an issue. As long as you strafe, you're gonna be good. I'm really under level for this, I think. And I'll leave the under leveling to um, the time trial. Okay, how do you even dodge this? This is unfair. Like, he here just standing in place hurts you. It's kind of dumb, to be honest. Really dumb, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be winning this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, sadly. As far as I've noticed, it seems like Amalgan's laser is slower than Yoglix's. For some reason. I don't know why that is. You have to remember that while the turning radius of the giant laser is pretty poor, it still exists, so you never want to stay in one place right next to the laser. You still want to be you still want to keep strafing. And that should oh, it didn't get Zav out, it did. Okay. And now she'll do sh her ultimate, which hopefully if I do a burst while she's doing her ultimate, will that save me from it? Indeed, it did. I did not test that theory beforehand, so... I think that test worked out pretty well. Now, as long as we don't do a major fuck-up here... We should be fine and dandy and kill Zava. Now that's as long as we don't fuck up, of course. And we didn't fuck up. Okay, good. 
I wouldn't count that as a uh, death, to be honest. I didn't want to put up the death counter because I was almost certain I was going to beat them pretty quickly. And I'm actually going to put up the... Yeah, thanks. Let me just read the chat. Um, death counter, zero deaths, one now. Bah. Only the one with Zava can eat you. That Yeah, that, I figured that one out. It's really quiet in chat. Watching the fight, yeah. I think people were tense because I had really low health uh, at the end. Um, eating boogers, that's nice. That's just amazing. No, how is this possible? You're just a little girl. And you're just a little woman. What, like, what's the, what's your point? And those were the strongest creatures I had. Well, that's pretty sad. But you're too late. The end is at hand. From what I saw, Pictimus was fucking stronger. When the demonic essence is made whole, Lord Dallas will revive me. Oh yeah, and you'll be ugly as fuck when he revives you. In East 2. Yeah, fun fact, she's ugly in East 2. Didn't mention that. Boosh. <gasps> He's dead. <laughs> Please speak to me. <laughs> That's a large pool of blood when you think about it. You'd think the ice would like soak it up or something. That's not how you spell her name, but th nice try. I'm glad you're alright. She has, by the way, Unica uses mittens to uh, wield her axe. Which is, I guess, like using gauntlets to wield a sword hilt better. It would chafe her palm a lot if she didn't use some sort of protective gear. Because if you think about the speed at which she swings her axe. Yep. How badly are you hurt? I'll call Father Superior. Maybe he can save you. Nope, dude. Don't be an idiot. Just look at me. I'm finished. Haha, -ha, you look miserable. You beat me, Unica. You're a better knight than I could ever be. No, just stop trying to, trying to cheer me up. Stop playing the big brother for a change and just let me grieve for you. I can't help who I am. Aww. What's that? I was going to give it to you when you were knighted. It's a gift. For me? I don't know, Unica! Who else is in the room besides you? I thought I'd wait until this was all over, but... Oh. What are you doing? You can't be using up all your energy like that. You have to lie still until help arrives. Ugh. I put all the magic I have left into it. Please use it well. Spirit necklace. Fun fact, in Oath and Felgana, you can buy a spirit necklace, right? In Oath and Felgana. And it also does the same thing, which is it revives you. And we're going to use that for the final boss. Royston. You have to keep going, Unica. Don't ever worry that you can't use magic. Just cry and shout and laugh, and don't ever lose that innocence and that single-mindedness. That's your real strength. It's why I fell for- Ah, He wanted to bang her this whole time. Well, 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 Royston, maybe you shouldn't- shouldn't have brother-zoned her. If you wanted that. I think I emulated that shout pretty well. And then they didn't bang in the end. Ain't that tragic. I like the art style a lot more. Like, I'm just looking at these um, pictures of the characters. I like the art style much more in East 1 and 2. Even in Ark of Nepishtim, and even in Felgana, I like them more. Although in Felgana, it's leaning towards the origin style, but like in... In Ark of Nepishtim, for example, it's just awesome. 
It was his last wish. He wanted me to keep going no matter what. So if you'd please tend to him, I'd appreciate it. Alright, I won't try to stop you. You do what you have to do. I wonder what the audio read looks like looks like for that. It must be amazing. That spike. Roy, I guess I could never really hide anything from you. You always did see right through me. But then I always knew that you, what you were going to say before you said it, and your last words to me were crystal clear. I swear to you, Roy, I'll save Lady Rhea, and then I'll fuck your corpse. I mean, that I'm just reading what she said. Crystal clear. His words were crystal clear. Yeah, I think I severely gimped myself for this fight for some- Oh, nine damage, I see. That is... Also, why didn't I save? Oh, by the way, this music track is actually um, the same melody from the intro, for those of you who notice that sort of thing. Although, there are different instruments used, and this one uses more of the gamey instruments that you, you know, hear in the game, instead of the orchestral selection that you have in the intro. These are less bad than the ones in fucking, um, whatever it's called, the place. These literally suck more. Oh, well, I should just eat... Eat my words, because the, he just dealt one-fourth of my total health. Oh, I can slam them pretty, pretty reliably. It keeps scaring the shit out of me. That's the p p point. It adds a little flavor, you know, to the otherwise dull, monotonous voice that I usually use. By the way, do you guys like me just constantly rambling about specific game details that I remember? Um. Because for older games, like the PS1 games, I can do that, like, the whole fucking time, basically. So, apparently, the big slimy things, we might be able to actually use this footing thing for them. They're annoying because they don't have the standard lightning weakness that these other mobs have, but on the other hand, they're very weak to fire. Let's just be real careful and uh, heal while we talk about stuff. I can't wait to go to Crash 3 because I fucking... I know quite a lot about that game, I really like it. Might even go into a wiki and just read stuff. Might I actually have a wiki open in a tab and uh, read stuff, you know, on the game. Just when, like, there's dead air and read random details on the game. So that, that might be cool, that might be a cool thing, cool addition to my streams. Informative ones, you know, about the games I play. And also, like, podcasty, so that I'm talking about topics in the world that are happening right now. And I suppose that would actually require following stuff like the Daily Mail and so on. Like, actual news sites. And I'm not cut out for that. 
I'll just kind of watch Sargon from time to time. Boosh! Oh, come on. No, don't do that to me. Oh, these are red. If you didn't notice earlier, the red mobs mean that, um... When you destroy all of them in a certain zone, they unlock a special something. And it can be a door, it can be... It's usually like some sort of barrier. Well, I just did L1 because I'm so used to the Dark Souls, to the Soul series, L1 being blocking and then like I'd spam block on my weapon to just, you know, move it up and down. I'm not getting feedback on my questions, motherfuckers. Are you not listening to me? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, 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 oh! We get boots here. I think traditionally, there are all there are six piece different um, sets of armor that you can get in the um, in the games, as well as six upgrades. I found that to be true in uh, Oath and Felgana. East uh, 2. I believe East 1 is the exception with having only 5, while the rest having 6. That is a pretty constant thing. Silver leggings. These things can actually occasionally block attacks completely. We will definitely want to max out our level for Kishgal, because Kishgal is the hardest fight in the game. N like, no questions asked. And K Kishgal is the hardest fight in the game for every character. And out of the four characters that you can use for time attack or boss rush, for all three that have Kishgal as the fight, Kishgal is the hardest fight. So, I'll let you, um... I'll, I'll just leave that out there, you know. So what did those, like, red guys unlock, actually? I wasn't paying attention almost at all. Did they unlock the boots? Okay, they did. I, again, wanted to block with L1. We will need a death counter for Kishgal. Um, I kind of wanted to do the death counter for when I did the boss rush, and that's when we only fight bosses, and they will actually be harder than a nightmare, even though we're doing nightmare difficulty, because with every boss in the nightmare boss rush, you are actually under-leveled for him. Are you like a bug or something? Excuse you. Let's try the lightning on this. That is significantly more effective. Well, just fuck me, silly. The aerial attack is of this is surprisingly good. We might actually use that more. Wait, you want me to destroy this because it's like far away? I, I want to destroy this mage first though, he's a danger. He's a, he has some serious stranger danger going on. This thing can poison and curse you, right? And slow you and just do a myriad of really not nice things to you. Oh, look at me, I'm the cheese master. So wait, you guys are so interested and invested in the game that you, um... That you actually stopped chatting completely, that's really interesting. 
that I will not think of that as me being boring. I will think of that as you being so interested in what's going on that you don't even feel the need to chat. It's just too, too much to handle. Too interesting to handle, might I add. BOOSH! The boosh I'm saying is actually a little joke that came from, um... 123 Pendejo, which is, who is an animator, a really interesting joke animator that does probably the dumbest animations that I have seen in my life ever. And that's why they're amazing. I would recommend watching him. I think he might have changed his name recently, actually. Truth and what, though? Boosh. Oh, another one of these flower bullshits. Like, this, this isn't, isn't actually... Doesn't look like a flower, it looks more like a spore of sorts. Really dangerous spore. Oh, you think? Do you really, um, think because it's just so interesting? That's... I made that kind of as a joke, I think, so... I'm saying I think. And that's where the this thing comes in. Not because of the specific damage it does, even though it does a fuck ton of damage. It's because it completely fucks you for every other mob to just destroy your ass in the in the zone. It gives you, I think, every single status effect known to man that's available in this game. This little flower, dinky flower over here. Oh, that's the chest that we need, I think. Oh, no! How do we get to there? How do I... Wait, maybe fly. Fly, you fools! Well, that was not good, I guess. Please don't touch me anymore. Come on, man, with the tracking. I won't have any of it. Just leave me alone. I'm stalling because I'm watching and concentrating on the gameplay. Well, you can talk while I'm doing the standing simulator because I don't have anything to do with them. The knight is the strongest mob in the game, which is actually very interesting considering that the weaker version of the knight, the golden knight from uh, the starting area of the game before even the first main boss, is one of the weakest mobs of the game. And, yep, he causes uh, he causes slow with his special attack, right? He doesn't cause slow with his other attack. Yeah, Standing Simulator is a good venue for talking. Well, it's not really 2.0, it's the same old, same old Standing Simulator uh, the, that you always have, you know? I think this is just one of my most successful three streams, um, commentary-wise. I feel like I really put, an, put some extra effort in there and made it, you know... Um, not as boring, along with uh, gameplay that's that never really stalls, you know? There's, except for the standing simulator, there's always attacks and battles going on. So, I don't know, I, I like this stream, like, I'm pretty satisfied with this stream, is what I'm trying to say. With this series. I'm not healing when I'm standing still, Unica's, Unica is so 2.0. Yep. Well, no, 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 that's because Unica has the special standstill healy item. If you had the special standstill healy item, you would you would be healing too. Which is the cloak I have equipped. Ah! I don't want to fight you, sir. Mainly because you're too strong for me. Yeah, he can just say nope and block you.
Another interesting fact about this knight, he can combo. Yup. I think the optimal way of beating him, since he can combo, is as soon as you see the first attack going, you want to just dodge that one, and then use the iframes as well as the attack of the electric attack for the other. If he doesn't do anything, you'll hit him, which will do damage. If he does do the second attack, you will still iframe through his second attack and not sustain damage, while also possibly damaging him. So I think that is the best way to deal with the knight. So just do this, and then do the do the iframe attack, just in case. I love how he jumps. Look at those jumps! Look at those jumps! Look at him! Those jumps are adorable. Yup, look at how good I'm fighting against the knight. Watch out when it gets dark. Yes, the interesting thing about this knight is that the lower health he has, the darker he becomes. A lot of the enemies actually have this mechanic where they slightly change tint as you're wearing them down. Which is very interesting. What other mobs have that feature, Deo? Since you're the obvious... Um... East Encyclopedia, and you've played this game more recently than I have, you also have noticed more details. The standing still simulator, how about all the dialogue, or did you forget the time Unica only had an IQ of 5? Well, hey man, she got to 47, so she's made it a long way, don't, don't knock her down. Ew, it's an ooey thing. Oh, come, this combo is just not fair at all. In any length, like stretch of the imagination, four different mobs that all fuck you when they're together, in perfect synergy. Okay, one v one versus. Good. This should be a Silset and Panacea right here, which is worthless to us. But hey, we'll get it for the novelty. Red Devil things in the fireplace also have that. Interesting. I think it's called cursed fi uh, like cursed fire or something. Cursed flames. I will not fight that, ever. We'll just wait here. Standing simulator... I might actually want to just rush to the end of the room. This is the final room, I believe, in the game. Um, before, like, the last, the last save before a boss. Final room with mobs is what I'm trying to say. Is the next one. So, uh... Well, yeah, I'm scared, man. I don't want to repeat a lot of the time I wasted, okay? Um, I'm expecting at least, like, half an hour at Kishgal. It might actually take the whole entire end of the stream to fight Kishgal in the last... and the last boss. The SSS. Okay. Let's go and ignore everything. Like I said, this is the last... Oh, no! As, as... Deo, can we, like, accurately portray how Jojo would say that? Oh, no! Yeah, something like that. Well, these things do almost no damage, so aren't we lucky? And now we're safe. This is basically a checkpoint, so we can die here and not really worry about it too much. Well, 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 well. Let's try using fire, actually.
We'll do a lot of farming here. Make sure you won't forget to count any deaths. More of the standing still simulator. This is actually going to be one of the f uh, one of the only times we'll ever be doing standing still simulator in the game. Since, like I said, this is the last mob room. Or the room before with this was the last mob room of the game. I hope you guys are excited for the end. Why don't I use the burst more often? Because I'm I'm old school, you know? I'm I'm traditional. I, I like to not use burst. I like to beat my kids with a belt, you know. I want my wife to make me a sandwich whenever I need it, you know. I don't use uh So yeah, that's why I don't use burst. You're exited for the end, that's nice to know. I'm pretty out of it myself, too. Well, 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 well. This guy's real interesting, he doesn't want to combo me. That's what you get for comboing me. Let's try and bait another one. So he comes alone. Oi! Well, that's two of them. How'd you like those those fucking knight skills? There are a lot of static enemies. They do the combo when they become dark. Oh, do they? Are you saying they don't do the combo unless they're dark? Do they do the combo every time when they become dark? Oh, they do. Interesting, as I didn't know that. Now for this fucker, for this fucker, we want to be the best level we can be, because he's going to destroy us in the time trial, when we do it after, like, after we're done with all the characters. He will destroy us, absolutely. So yeah, um, we will, um... Want to overlevel for this guy, so I hope you guys don't mind the pre ending farming that we're gonna be doing now. Nope, there is there. I think the max level is 60, but you will never go over 50. That's basically the um, standard in East Games after East... I, that's the standard in East Games after, uh, after 1. In 1, level 10 was the max, and you actually reached it, like, in, um... During the half... The first half of the game. From East 2 onwards, the max level became 60, but you never went over, like, 51 or 2. You basically always... That, that would be your max level. And in harder difficulties, you never even reach 50. So here I think we want to reach 49, at least, and then fight Kishkal. Well, this is the basically the end, and the farming in these games doesn't take that long, so it'll be like 10 minutes max. What we want to do now is we want to get this upgrade. So I guess we will um, reduce MP usage. Reduce MP usage. Oh, no, no, no. Hasten skill recovery and boost. I think that's the better combo. Hmm? Since we're gonna need both, I think. 
Like I said, they, these upgrades do almost nothing. And we can do... We can actually... Reduce bad status duration. That's gonna be real annoying with, for example, Dallas. And, uh... No, I don't have money for those. They're not that important anyway. I guess. I mean, it isn't really important. These are 12,000. And... Actually, I think I'll just increase the defenses. <laughs> That's gonna that's gonna be better uh, and the like even just one def defense is uh better than I think it increases our defense actually by 2 which is pretty amazing and then we'll increase boost and then the reduce bad status. I think that's the best we can do in terms of... Yeah, that's pretty imp impressive. Um, okay, now I completed the East Origin demo. It was, it was fun. Was it? Yeah, see, this isn't even the only character, and we'll do the second character way later. So, yeah, you can... I was better at aiming this thing, and Unica didn't have her auto-aim bullshit. So, what's new with you guys, since we'll be taking a bit of time for this? I wonder how much XP this guy actually gives us. Unica, stop auto-attacking. That's not a lot, to be honest. I'm pretty disappointed with that number. Ouch. Oh no, the 9 health, bro. I think I'll go for one level, then. 48 seems pretty nice. Oh, actually, just doing fire here seems pretty good. If only these guys didn't drag me around. Yup, see, that kills. That gets you a lot of XP. Just destroying these blobby guys. I just wish this thing didn't drag me along for the wild ride. Actually, this thing might give, a, give us a lot. Yup, it does. Okay, good. We'll just do this until we're a certain level. Thinking of continuing the fanfic. So what place is good for farming, then? Would you wager? I I suppose a blob room is good. Since these blobs give you quite a hefty amount of XP. Whew. 
For Dallas or the last boss, he's significantly easier than Kishgal. I wouldn't expect really more than like... Here. I just want to kill the blobbies. Oh, okay, so I burst every time. Wow, that's a very interesting way of beating these guys. And I guess healing is bad for you then. I see. Well, Deo, you've just shown me the best farming tactic for this zone I've ever seen, and I never knew about it. That's... And this guy even puts you exactly at the right place. So we're just gonna do this and kinda relax. Well, I know you did. You probably didn't look up, hey, how to farm end. And the thing is, with these enemies, usually this burst knocks every single thing out of range for Unica. But since these three plants are stationary, that means they just keep getting fucked in the um, Chamber of Destruction. Which is exactly what we need for our farming. Oh, Knight, I see you got really intimate with me there. Please refrain from doing that ever again. Hmm. So, Panda, or Alexis, I guess, are you still disgusted with the music, or have you, uh... If you're even there. Or is it more interesting? Now. I'll definitely say this isn't my favorite track. My favorite track is probably the one from the place where Pictimus was. Pictimus, the giant, uh, the giant uh, prey mantis. I think that's called like cursed blood or something. Something along those lines. Not cursed blood, but like something blood, right? Blighted blood, that's right. I thought it might have been alliteration. Hmm. I suppose changing the weapon or magic doesn't affect the burst at all, right? Uh, does the burst explosion do extra damage at the end of the burst? Because it seems like it. How's the fanfic coming along, though? Ouch. Yeah, so this is more or less this and wherever Consclard was. I think we're the only places where we did a bit of extra farming. Oh, and um, Galaldi. Galaldi was a big farm spot. Because Galaldi's hard as fuck. Uh, as you know, those of you who've watched East 2, Galaldi is like just ahead. The only thing left of him 
is the head in these two, and it's the most disgusting sprite I've seen in my life. And I just, it's indescribable. Those of you who saw it in these two probably will remember it for the rest of your lives. Because of how just horrifying it was. It's weird and awkward and difficult to write a fanfic about people you know in real life. I think knowing them in real life would fuel my fanfic potentials because I just know they would be disgusted and horrified. Aw. Horrified by them. So I try extra hard to make it disgusting. Maybe that's just me. I'm glad Unica didn't randomly release her magic this whole time, even though I don't need it at all, so I'm just wasting. Oh, I can actually relax my fucking index finger. Not in yes, index finger. The thing about this game is that your index finger is under constant strain. The you since you get um um from the point you get the first magic to the end of the game, you are constantly holding the right shoulder, not shoulder button, the right bumper, or whatever you set your magic to. No, I'm not walking. I set it to always dash. Oh, I didn't pick up the thing. Leave me alone. Can you stop fucking me, please? Oh wow, I'm confused. Fuck you guys. Give me my heal. I'm gonna leave. You're not playing nice at all. <sighs> We're at the third of the XP bar, third or fourth. I kinda just wanna shut up for a moment and just relax in the situation. I'll leave you guys to your devices. I'm sad for the people who are actually watching this after my stream on the video. You probably won't get much enjoyment from the... From the farming, or maybe... Kishka- I know, Kishkal is comically hard. And compared to the final boss- actually final bosses for certain characters, or a certain character, um... Kishkal is still, by a huge margin, the hardest boss in the game. And Kishkal is known for being one of the hardest bosses in any game I've ever played. So... Well, I, I think they would, but the thing is, where would they skip to, is the thing. I guess the fair thing of me would be to make an annotation and link it to the end of the farming, but I don't give a shit. The most views for a stream I've got, like not a highlight, for an actual stream, and my streams would actually constitute as Let's Plays, more or less, is for the Grinch, where I got like 600. And, and, oh god, and that's the worst Let's Play I've ever done, because around half of the, uh, around half of the video, the audio and video desync, so it's actually a bad video, and I can't even really do anything about it. I'm at half the XP bar, Lop. So after I'm done with that half, I'm moving on to the finale. Nothing.
I think it's a matter of luck if the slimy monster gets caught in the ending explosion or not. Well, yeah, we're, I think Zora was saying that just as a general statement. I don't believe Zora was actually writing a fanfic, you know? Why aren't you guys dying? Why aren't these guys dying anymore? Huh. Maybe if I switch it to fire? Well, look at that! It's different! It's different damage if you use the fire. Let's compare that again. That is really so when you use fire, I'm looking at the flowers right now. The flowers get 95 and the middle thing gets 117 per hit. Let's see if those numbers are correct in the next one. I will put that on the east subreddit. No, it's not in the magic. What's in it? What's what what is it in then? 90 the same numbers again. Let's switch to the electric now. Hold on. Now it's doing less, exactly. It's doing 89 instead of the 95. Now, let's switch to the wind. Well, I'm like one quarter of an XP bar till the desired level. It's, yeah, it's, it's probably that the axe does uh, less than the sword. Isn't that an interesting info, Deo? What do you think about that? We never knew that. And now I found out. I'm gonna post that on the E subreddit that doesn't exist. It might be useful for, like, speedrunners or something, I don't know. Well, uh, you can actually see the XP bar. It's right above my health bar. And you can see how quickly it fills up for this. I still think Unica is easier than the other characters to beat Kishgal with. What do you think, Deo? I don't know. You did it to use the 
block. Um, you, you did it to use the sound effect, right? Well, add on the Pishna version is a joke, so... We'll not even mention that. That's just, like... LOL. That's just, like, really, really, really LOL. Bidding! It's just to be safe, Crystal, to there. Oh, you got the rank, huh? Congrats. Is there anything for 2,000 we can grab? Nope, everything, every one of these is useless. So we'll just save and finally... <laughs> what, would be, what would be useful for Kishgal? I guess none of these, really. This seems like the best bet, so... Even though he doesn't really have slippery floors at all. And of these, let's equip the fucking, I don't know. The rod, I don't know. Magic rod. Woo! And uh, that will be that. <laughs> nope, this is the hardest boss. If you remember, this guy kicked our ass in like cursed, c cursed fire, I guess. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Huh. First you lost your father thanks to me, and now you've had to step over the corpse of another loved one to get here. Seems to have hardened you up a bit. I found the only true path to strength is to drown oneself in the madness of battle. Sadness and confusion just fall away once the blood really starts to spill. You're a sicko. With each death you witness, I'll bet you're finding it easier and easier to move on. You probably don't even flinch anymore. Maybe now we can finally live up- maybe now you can finally live up to your family name and give me the challenge I've been seeking. Don't you dare make light of my losses. Your idea of strength and mine are completely different. Oh? My dad told me. I had to face my own weaknesses before I could realize my true potential. And I understand what he meant. He wanted me to escape them. To a fucking escape- no, that's the opposite of what he wanted, Jesus Christ. He wanted me to accept them. To see them for what they really are. And if I could do that and move on anyway, then and only then would I find true strength. So, no matter what happens, I won't run from my sorrow. Sorrow? Who uses that, that, that word ever in serious monologues? Her. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting, Tova. But will you feel the same once you've seen this? And then he whips out his cock. Oh shit, he's a demon now. What happened to you? This is my strength. It's the answer I was looking for. I sought the purest power there is and found it at the brink of madness. And this is the form it took. Well, you certainly do seem powerful right now. But like I said, your idea of strength and mine are completely different. Real strength comes from within. 
I don't need to drive myself mad to get it, I just need to accept who I am, faults and all. Ha. Huh. Stubborn to the end, I see. If you're right, then you have nothing to fear. But if I am if I'm right, you'll fall like a ragdoll before me. Then let's find out which it is. Let me show you just how strong I've become. <laughs> Make that an edit with some screams and that laugh. <laughs> I'll make that a sound effect, I guess. <laughs> Gladly. Do your worst, child of Saul. Well, time to get fucked. He's not using the shitty death combo yet, which is to make the air and do the projectiles at the same time. Generally, since Unica has the Firebird and the other character that fights Kishgal doesn't, you'll want to clear off the icicles he makes as soon as he makes them, because the bird has such range. Like so. This attack can be avoided, this summons the falling icicles, and this is the bullshit combo. If he does the projectiles that you have to kind of dodge weirdly, and the uh, falling projectiles, there are very little ways you can surely dodge those. Oh! I forgot the um, icy dragons. Those are also fucked. By the way, he gets much more aggressive in the second part of the fight. The only way to dodge the dragons, I've found, is to use your iframe attack, or the hammer crush. As you can see, he's not even letting me hit me anymore, more or less. Fuck. You'll want to use your burst to catch him while he's doing his ultimate. It seems like little damage, but it adds up because it's a constant damage dealer.
That's what I wanted. That almost knocked him down to no health. Oh, come on. One. First try. Before we do this dialogue, I guess I'll do it. I'll explain things. Aren't Jesus? What do you mean? Did I do it? I don't know, Unica. Maybe you should open your eyes. Whoa, 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 whoa! How are you still standing? Ugh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this can be good. <sighs> it seems I couldn't control the demonic power I took within me. Huh. And so I lose. All my effort. All the power I gained amounted to nothing. I have no choice but to acknowledge the strength of which you and your father speak. But you were plenty strong too, I mean, don't sell yourself- UNICO! He killed your father and he tried to kill you! Then he's been ridiculing you this whole game! He wanted to kill everyone! Just so we can get stronger. And you're like complimenting him. You're like tapping him on the shoulder? Unica, man, get your shit together. Yours is just a different variety. That's like saying. It's not that you're stupid, you're just not book smart. By the way, Unica, you're not any smart. Just, you know, so that so you can understand the reason I use that analogy. If someone ever tells you. You're a strange one, to be sure. I've never seen someone this stupid. I can almost see how you were able to win. Your strength is worthy, Unica Tova. I feel proud to watch you. I think some of Unica's brain cells just died. <laughs> I feel proud to have fought you. Uh oh. Thanks, I guess. Ha. Huh. This is a death befitting a warrior. I have no regrets. Unica, you're supposed to be pissed at that. He killed your dad, man. Okay, he was very hard on- like, I'll, 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 expl I'll explain this. I almost wish I could have met you under- You're a retard, you're a retard, you are c a complete retard. Alright, let's do a mini explanation, alright? Oh, he didn't do the tornadoes because I was never near him. I always made sure I was away from him and did the fire. He only does the tornadoes if you're kind of near him and do melee. I always made sure I attacked when he was away or when I was pushing him away. So I never had trouble with a tornado. Um, okay. Hitler fought for Germany so he wasn't evil. Okay. Um, so let me explain. Nope, she's still level 49. So... So basically, um, the thing is, when you fight Kishgal in, like, the time trial, you're, like, level 46 or 47. So imagine every one of his attacks dealing double damage. You are aware that he almost killed me, right? But imagine if every one of his attacks dealt double the damage. I would have been dead real easily. And imagine if all of my attacks did half the damage. So, 
I wouldn't have even made it to half his health. Maybe a little bit more than half his health. The thing is, you saw how aggressive he got in the second stage, combining the dragons with the rain, with the ultimate um, ice explosion. He never gives you a breather in the second stage, and you saw that. I could barely even hit him without hitting myself somehow. And that's why I overlevel for him, but you'll see when I get to the time trial how insane he'll be. The only reason I did him the first try now is because I'm so well trained with him that I still, I still have the muscle memory of his fight in my fingers. And this is the final save. We're equipping the revive item. Hold on. Ooh. There we are. Lady Rhea! Unica? Well, if it isn't the Tova girl. Ha! Huh. I must admit, I'm surprised. I never expected a powerless child like you to be the first one up here. <laughs> Can the chatter, Dallas. Just release Lady Ray and hand over the Black Pearl. I'm afraid I can't do that. They're both quite instrumental to my plans, you see. Your plans? You mean this ritual to make Solomon's shrine fall out of the sky? Why go to so much trouble to do that? What can you possibly gain from it? Oh, come on now, isn't it obvious? In order to make the demonic essence whole, I need the full power of the Black Pearl. And right now, most of that power is being used to keep your precious shrine aloft. Therefore, to gain my end, your kind must lose their wings, so to speak. Wait, so you're doing all of this? Manning an army of demons, killing innocent people, and causing suffering on a massive scale... Just so you can steal the power we're using to keep our holy shrine afloat? Well, when you put it that way, yes, that's the long and short of it indeed. You see, only the divine power of the goddesses is capable of controlling the Black Pearl. And since they're not particularly interested in redirecting their efforts, I'm left with but one course of action. You, and everyone who serves you, is a monster. Oh, you finally came to that sen- came to your senses. Huh? Perhaps. But if so, I'm most comfortable in my monstrousness. And now I must ever so delicately pluck your Lady Rhea's powers from her. Soon the demonic essence will regain its perfect form. Like hell, I won't let you lay a finger on her. That's- that's- I mean, you probably- I mean- you probably should have learned from last time that he would have a magic barrier around him, right? Oog! You're wasting your time. Remember, you're no sorceress. You're just a little girl blindly flailing around a big sharp... Flailing around big sharp objects. And I am behind a very solid barrier. Unica, don't. He's taking the demonic essence into himself. Even with your father's sword, you won't be able to touch him at all. No. Ha. Huh? Has it finally dawned on you just how weak you truly are? Perhaps I should give you a proper demonstration of my power in case any doubt remains. This is what it means to be a Darkling. <laughs> Ah! Unica! It ends here, Unica Tova. 
You should have known better than to set foot in my circle. Your fate was sealed the moment you appeared before me. I bid you farewell. May the next life treat you more favorably. A boosh! Oh, a magic barrier. What? I'm alive? Sorry to have kept you waiting, Unica. Reinforcements have arrived! Mighty impressive that you made it all the way here on your own, though. You... You came! <laughs> yes, I did. If you'd please, Rhea. We must gather our power and confer it upon Unica. Of course. On your lead, Fina. The divine power of the goddesses. No, it's Zank! No! I thought this stream wouldn't get ruined! It's more than that, but how? Don't doubt yourself, Unica. You've never once been powerless. You've always been strong. All of our wishes, our feelings, and our strengths, we now give to you. Take them with our blessings. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina, well, you need a lot of strength to be able to fly with those wings, since, you know, you don't have hollow bones and all that. I mean, there are, they are, if you just saw how I, hold on, BOO! I forgot to make a sound effect for destroying that shield, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I actually just beat Kishgal, and he's like the hardest boss ever in the universe. So, uh, I'm gonna just finish this final boss, and then I'm, uh, then I'm done with the game. Behold my true might. What's he doing? I don't know, probably charging himself up. Like, you know. Evil final bosses usually would. He's releasing the demonic essence within him. Ha! Behold the perfect fusion of man and demon. May the sight forever burn itself into your eyes! That's, I mean... Isn't it gonna burn into everyone's- How did you teleport me to a special dimension where we'll fight? How does that even work? Where are all the other people, though? Well, isn't that just the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life? Actually, no. Sorry, Galaldi's head from East 2 is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Alright, easy, easy enough. I don't exactly remember this boss, but it should be easy enough, right? Oh boy, okay, so... And this is gonna track. Now I just kinda run. That hit me anyway, that's not fair. It's like cheating or something. Okay. Okay, that's gonna hit you no matter what you do, more or less, apparently. I'm probably gonna first try this too, so. Well, I somehow hit him on the top of his head instead of. Yeah, I'm doing this extremely badly. I kind of feel embarrassed, to be honest. Okay, now it's time for the. This, whatever this is. Now he has his little gun turret helpers. 
on his side. Ow, that really stings. These are homing ones, and now I can smash his little thing, whatever it is, in. Uh, when he does Ice Use Air, I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, because each of them do their job pretty well. Pretty tight. Oh fuck, I missed it, okay. have 45 health, but remember, I have the revive item, so... I just want to not use it until I get to last phase. That seems like it's gonna be hard to pull off, though, considering I've lost a fuck ton of health in the first phase, which I really shouldn't have done. The first phase is really a joke, more or less. Um, this is gonna be easy to dodge. And then the ice... See, the, better to use lightning than ice for the ice. Better to use lightning than air for the ice. That was some bullet hell action right there. Oh, fuck, that hit me. What the fuck are you guys doing? You should probably switch your fanfic to, like, Falco and Lob. Because there is some kinky shit going on, apparently. Why did I take so much damage from those? Well, at least I'm getting into third... I got into third phase. Come on, final boss, man. Just- Oh, now- Okay, now I remember. This is the funnest part. I love this part. Never get hit by the slow. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me! You not. Fucking wow! That somehow didn't slow me at all. Don't. Jesus, that hit me. And that hits like a truck. What the fuck? That kind of... had weird physics. I gotta get him to the center of the screen. You never wanted to be off-center. Fuck. That almost hit me. See, this is gonna be extremely close, even if I do do it. Oh, now I remember why it's gonna be extremely close.
Well, I'm done. I can't beat him in this state. There's too much shit going on, and I lost way too much at the beginning. No way to dodge this. Um... Use the burst? What would it even do? I mean, in this case, wouldn't it- wouldn't I be able to get dragged off? Or something? GG! Thanks. It was just really dubbing me how much health I lost at the beginning, and I shouldn't have lost all of that health. So, I'm tr I'm gonna try and mend that this time. Oh, that still hits you. With Toll, you're able to dodge those by just running, which really annoys me. Okay, good. Now here, what you want to do is you just generally want to stay within the first life bar, and you'll be fine. For third phase, unless you like extremely fuck up. And by that, I mean fuck up to the point where, um, you get caught in the vortex of death or something along those lines. Something that would be usually lethal. Oh, come on! Jesus. Why'd you do two of those, man? I fucking hate that attack. You have to switch to an iframe attack whenever he does that. Oh, come on. Dude, this guy's easier than Kishkal, like, you just have to not do dumb shit, you just have to be patient, more or less, I think, is actually the better key for success with him. Be patient and don't do big fuck-ups, and you're, like, easy with them. Also, pay attention to sound. Even here, the fucking sound is the, the... That was really dumb of me changing direction like that, like I just did. I shouldn't have done that. Fuck, man, that was real. See what I'm saying? Just stupid fuck-ups are what ends up killing you.
Are you insane? Oh, fucking meteors, man. The meteors are the worst. Every single fucking phase. Did I just ride a guy? Yeah, apparently I did. Oh yeah, I just realized why I didn't do bursts ever, Deo. Burst is an extremely risky move in this fight because you get stuck in place and if one of the turrets place a slowdown on you, you're basically gonna get automatically slowed as soon as you get out of that um, burst. And you really don't want that. Come on, man. Let me go. Come- No! There was a- there is no fucking way you're doing three in a row like that. I don't know why I did that, but hey, it worked. He's uh, just spamming the death, the the death zone now. Yes. I just need to kill the other turret. You're done, son. You're done, boy! He's done, he's dead. Bye, Dallas. Please fuck off, little tornado. Haha! <laughs> so it comes to this, my ambitions foiled by worthless, pathetic, powerless humans. That's really interesting considering, you know, they just beat the power of the pearl, I guess. You're wrong about us, Dallas. We may be weaker than you'd like, but we're not powerless by any means. Our weaknesses are what- that's literally an oxymoron what you just said. They bring us together and help us complement one another with individual strengths. That's not the same as weaknesses being strengths. And by working together, you're the biggest Jew in the you're the biggest Jew anywhere, and by working together there's nothing we can't do. Ha. Huh. Such trite naivete. But I suppose you did defeat me with it. Just remember, humans and demons are like the two sides of the same coin. Demons were born in the shadow of East's prosperity, after all. As long as humans desire that which remains out of reach, the demonic essence will never die. Our kind feeds off of yours. We'll always return. That's actually kind of really true. So it shall ever be. For et all eternity. Inescapably. Ha! Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> well, he's dead. That's an ooh. That's the demonic essence. Oh, now we're gonna see why there are statues in East One. Spoiler warning! You just leave that to us. Fina, are you ready? I am. Come on, we're at the end of the game. I've finished Nightmare. It's back in the pearl. Oh, it's a cutscene. And now the, the tendrils that were knocking down Is, aka the Flying Island Nice Temple Paradise, are gonna be gone and everything's gonna be nice and back to normal and Is is gonna keep flying and whatever and everyone's gonna be happy and shit. The Tower of Darm looks pretty epic. I wish, Zora, you could have seen East 1 and 2. But I suppose you're not missing out much. They were the, basically the same bosses, only this in this game they're much more fleshed out. Well, there are no more demons, and the sky is blue. What do you know? Ain't that a great ending? Except that Royston still died, but you know we already forgot about him. Who cares? Oh, but it's not over. There is still a little surprise left for us. What? But I was really hoping we'd all go back to the shrine together. Why would you have to stay on the surface? Unica, fuck off. We gave up our wings to seal away the demonic essence. And a goddess's wings aren't just a symbol of her power, bl power but a vessel for her life's energy. Without them, our time is short. We're going to sleep soon. Likely for a very, very long time. You're going to sleep? I'm afraid so, and there's something we're going to need you to do for us. The seal we've placed on the demonic essence is imperfect at best. Returning the Black Pearl to Solomon's Shrine would be far too dangerous. Even keeping it here would be inviting calamity. Once we've drifted into sleep, both we and the Pearl must be entombed deep within the earth, far from human hands. You mean, we're never going to see you again? You may. We will awaken again someday. And since we played East 1 and 2, we know when they're gonna wake, and then Fina's gonna get a mass massive lady boner for Adol. First of many lady boners for Adol that Adol just ignores, but, you know. That's a different story. And when we do, I promise, you'll be the first person we seek out. That's not actually true, Rhea. The first person you'd seek out was Toll, but, you know, that's... That's just, you know, details, details. And, you know, I, I guess these goddesses would be, like, super sad when they woke up and realized, Hey, all of the people we knew are dead, yay. But then they met out all, and it was all okay. But you don't know when that'll be. Or if we'll even still be around. I lost Dad. I lost Royston. And now I'll be losing you, too. I... I... I'm so sorry, Unica. Please don't cry. 
We understand your request and we shall grant it. You may count on us, both in this in all and in all future affairs of state while you sleep. Thank you, Father Shion. When you return to the shrine, please tell the priests what has transpired here. And give them our fondest regards. Lol, the priests. Man, I don't envy you that task one bit. Breaking news like that to this, like this to the six priests won't be easy. Indeed, this will be a day remembered solemnly forevermore. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina, may I ask one final question? Dallas claimed that the demons would never be gone for good as long as we live. My first instinct was to dismiss that as an empty threat from a dying man, but on further consideration I'm forced to wonder. He spoke the truth, I'm afraid. The demons are gone for now, but they will return one day. When that will be and what form they'll take, however, remains a mystery. Lol, they'll take the exact same forms, only they'll suck more. And they'll be bumping you a lot. I see. Should we prepare for that contingency, then? I don't think you'll need to. I have no doubt when, uh, that when and if that happens, East will prevail. That's actually really dumb, and you should prepare. And they actually did prepare in the actual story that happened. Since there are three characters, there are three ways the story of East Origins can go, and one of them is the true story. And we'll be there to help make sure of it. It's time, Fina. Lady Ray, Lady Fina! Such a sour face. Come on, Unica, at least see us off with a smile. You're a bitch. There's a lot for you to be happy about, after all. Wow, dude, you are a bitch, dude. Like, come on, man. You found your own inner strength and shown bravery beyond the need for magic. We can't thank you enough for everything you've done. You've always been dear to us, Unica. A true friend in every way. Please promise us. And even as we sleep, you'll always remember us fondly. You'll always think of us as friends, no matter what. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina. Of course, how could I ever think of you as anything but? And now they're statues like they were in East 1. And so the crisis that had brought the land of East to the brink of annihilation was finally resolved, all but impermanently. Eunuch and the others enshrined the goddesses in the Black Pearl deep underground, just as promised. Afterward, they began preparing to use the remaining magical energy for a return trip to Solomon's Shrine in the Heavens. That's dumbass. That's a dumbass thing to call him. Call him a retard, that's better. So, you're going to sleep too, huh? Guess it'll be getting pretty lonely down here. When the goddesses awaken once more, then so too shall we. But until such time, I beg thee, bid me respite. That means let me sleep, dumbass. In translation from Tree Speak. Of course, sleep well, Rhoda, and Rhoda too. Farewell, daughter of Tova. Farewell, youths of Is. Is everyone prepared? What? We're leaving already? Yes, since the tower fell silent, Solomon Shrine has be again begun to rise. The farther it distances itself from the surface, the more difficult it will be to maintain transport. Our window of opportunity is small. I too hate to part with this land, but the fact remains our place is in the shrine. There is nothing left for us here. You may proceed, Father Shion. Thank you. Dino, Aeolia, if you'd please. Yes, Father. Right away. I would regret that, honestly, Lop. Please gather within the triangle we've formed. Do as you did when we first came here. The procedure is largely the same. 
Oh, shit. They're staying. Unica, what's wrong? Oh boy, I think I know where this is going. Well, um, we've been talking it over, and we've decided to stay here. What? Are you serious? I just hate to think of the goddesses being left down in the dark, dingy tome all alone and unprotected. I want to stay close to them and watch over them to make sure nobody disturbs their rest. And also, I want to fuck Rico, since he, you know, upgraded my axes. I want to fuck Rico until, until the entire Earth is populated by humans again. That's a noble sentiment, but... Have you really thought this through? Oh yeah, she has! I mean, once we're gone, you may very well never see us again. This is your one and only chance to go home. Technically, this is just as much as our home as Solomon's Shrine. It's not only the goddesses we'd be abandoning if we left it. The East has been thoroughly ravaged by the demons, and someone needs to take the first steps towards recultivating the land. Yeah, Unica and I are completely behind Hugo on that. Someday, Solomon Shrine will find its way back to the surface, and Musha's got a lady boner for Hugo, so, you know, everyone wins. And then when it does, we want to be there here to meet you. Be there here, thanks. Be here to meet you, and we want East to be as beautiful as it was back when we were little kids. We're going to make this barren land shine again. After all, this is East. Our East. Well, I guess you really have thought it through. I don't think I've ever heard you four sound more determined. What is this, Undertale? It seems we all have our parts to play. They're just on different stages. I hope our absence doesn't cause you any undue difficulty for you. It sounds like this that I miss being a headstrong young man. Unicatova, Holy Knight of East. I have one final order for you before we depart. Sir? Watch over the goddesses on our behalf. We'll be too much too far away to watch over them ourselves, after all. Yes, sir. Won't be easy down here, you know. I hope you're ready for some hardships. I'll personally deliver the news of this decision to your families and loved ones, if I may. Oh, you're gonna get fucked, Cecilia. That would be great. And don't worry, Ramona, we're ready for this. I don't know how I can ever repay you for everything you've done. I'll miss you, and I'll never forget you. Come, our time is short. Dino, Eolia, Eolia, what a dumb name. We must begin the spell. No lollygagging. Yes, father. Understood. Those were some sweet effects. Shall we be skipping the end of the game in these cutscenes when we play the other characters in like a month or so? Or do we still watch them, you know, for uh... Just the nice feeling. What do you guys think? God damn it, Lob, just enjoy the end of the fucking game. It's beautiful, it's, it's serene, it's... Just amazing. It feels nice. To end a game you like so much. So shut the fuck up! Still watch? Alrighty though. Um, these are the credits, so. I wanna hear your guys' opinion on this stream, this game, this series, the East series, and uh, just, you know, your overall uh, impressions, your favorite moments maybe. How much you're hyped for, uh... How much you're hyped for more East streams in the future. This is really nostalgic. Like, I've played this game, um, fully, or the first time, rather, 
like, a year or two ago, and already I feel extremely nostalgic for it. I just, in general, feel nostalgic for the East series, I guess. Now we can see how East looks like in, um, drawn form. Fuck you, Lop. <laughs> Shush. I love the series, love the stream. This was one of the best streams. I loved all of it. I want to see more. I'm hyped for more. The music was awesome. Unica's dumbness was awesome. I enjoyed every minute. Wow, Zora. That's nice to hear. That's nice to hear because we still have East Origin Hugo to cover. We have East Origin the third character to cover. Then we have East Oath and Felgana. And then we have East Ark of Nepishtim. And all of those, well, they have this... The same East charm to them. I feel like to be continued in East One. And this wasn't the actual story that happened. Next time, new game will be picking Hugo, that blonde kid caster dude that was like magic and shit, so... <laughs> we have to do something with those screams and that laugh. Okay, um, I guess I'd have to search through every dialogue and find every time I did an, like, let's say eccentric read of the dialogue, a unique read of the dialogue, and make, <laughs> and, uh, Yeah, I just, I really enjoyed myself with these origin, and like I said, Zora made these streams a hundred times better because of how much he enjoyed it, and I'm really glad when someone really is hyped for a series, and they, when they just want to see every minute of a series. It was a blast streaming for all of you, to be honest, so... Thanks to everyone who dropped by, thanks to everyone who was there for the, uh... For all of these streams. And for any of the streams, really, so Zora especially, the most. And then we got Lop, who's always there, for as many streams as he can possibly be. Um... I think Viddy was in one. Marty popped by... ...in a few of them. And, uh, that, that's gonna be that for now. Bye-bye, guys. See you next stream. Or in the Discord. We can also see each other in the Discord. That's also a thing. <laughs>